Today's topic is about obesity. In the world, obesity have affected 1.9 billion adults. But apart from adults, children as well as teenagers are also affected by this obesity and it is very dangerous for their future. So in detail of this obesity, we will look first overnutrition in any way is called as a obesity. In India also 20.4% people have overweight, only 44% have normal body mass index. So obesity is common in developed as well as in developing countries, especially in a affluent people. Why it is occurring? Because human race is fighting to poverty and malnutrition from long time and the body is designed to store energy whenever it is available or whenever it is taken. So this is the first generation in history where food stuff are available in plenty. So by habit people eat more and get obese. So excessive eating and less expenditure that is simply leading to the obesity. So further in obesity excess fat whatever taken that will get accumulated sometime excess carbohydrate that is also converted into the fat and that all will be get accumulated this is due to the increase intake and decrease expenditure or decrease physical activity and so energy utilization is very less the obesity index or body mass index that is called bmi is calculated as a weight w by h square where w is equal to weight in kilogram and h that is height is measured in a meters so it is used to assess the obesity in detail of bmi that also we will look but before that a person is obese when body weight is excess of 120 percentage of desirable body weight so up to 120 it is normal but more than 120 percent of a desirable body weight that is called obesity about weight that also we will look so the most widely used marker for body mass body muscle mass index is 24 hour urinary creatinine excretion so body muscle mass that is quite different in comparison to the body mass index so in relation to obesity you have to remember bmi that is body mass index which is different from the body muscle mass index now in relation to the bmi you have to remember that formula bmi is equal to w by h square w means weight in kilogram height in meters so normal is called 18.5 to 25 that is kilogram per meter square while when it is more than 25 it is considered overweight further that if particular bmi that is less than 18 0.5 then it is come in a one of the malnutrition that is called protein energy malnutrition grade 1 further if obesity is grade 2 when bmi is more than 30 and in between 30 to 40 but further if less bmi that is come in a protein energy malnutrition grade 2 furthermore obesity is also sometimes observed with bmi is more than 40 same way sometime extreme protein energy malnutrition is seen when bmi is less than 16 so simple you have to calculate your own body mass index and that will give you idea about whether you are overweight or in a pm or within a normal limit further this obesity that is also categorized in a two different variety central obesity may be called a android or apple type that is abdominal in male so that is particular in a male and gynecoid around breast hips and thighs in the woman so this different type of obesity is observed now obesity can occur only as a result of ingestion of more food or excess of the body's need so daily energy requirement is the bmr that is basal metabolic rate plus physical activity and sda so that already we have discussed how to calculate your energy requirement so specific dynamic action bmr and physical activity will decide your energy requirement if you are taking more than that then body will store it and that will lead to the obesity so major cause are food habits so intake of calorie rich food in excess amount and lack of exercise that is the main reason of the obesity now upper body fat deposition is mainly by hypertrophy increase in size of the cell so sometime 
if excess fat or carbohydrate is taken then body will store in a particular upper body part and here size of the cell is increased but sometimes lower body type obesity where the hyperplasia so increased total number of particular adipocyte cell is observed so there are also upper body fat deposition as well as lower body fat deposition both are same so particular this fat cells or the adipose tissue or adipose cell that will be deposit excess amount of the fat but sometime excess deposition of fat will lead to the particular unutilized fat development means that cell will be die and only fat will be remain there and it will never utilize in the body and permanent obesity will develop further in relation to this genetic predisposition has also been suggested if one parent is obese there are 50% chances for the children becoming obese however no gene alone is responsible for the production of obesity now obesity appears most frequently in the first year of life as well as in between 5 to 6 year as well as in adults kids the main etiology that is excessive intake of food compared with the utilization genetic constitution is also observed psychic disturbance that is commonly found as well as endocrine and metabolic disturbance are rarely but also leading to the obesity insufficient exercise or lack of activity that is the main reason of the obesity further the clinical manifestation of obesity fine facial features on a heavy looking taller child larger upper arms and thighs genu valgum that is common relatively small hands and finger stepping adiposity in mammary regions as well as pendulous abdomen which tria that is observed in obesity in boys external genitalia appears small though actually average in size because of the obesity in girls external genitalia normal and menarche not dilated but it is sometime common believe in the obesity psychological disturbance that is common in relation to the obesity born age that is advance in the obesity so these all are the common clinical manifestation are observed now here important disease related to obesity is discussed so non alcoholic fatty liver disease that is most commonly found with the obesity along with the steatosis steato hepatitis as well as sometime it can lead to the cirrhosis coronary artery disease or coronary heart disease also in with this obesity diabetes dyslipidemia and hypertension is also observed sometime pulmonary disease like abnormal function due to compression of the liver over the lung as well as obstructive sleep apnea hypoventilation syndrome is seen gynecological abnormality like abnormal menses infertility polycystic ovarian syndrome in the female cancers like breast uterus cervix colon esophagus pancreas kidney and prostate cancer are commonly observed with the obesity idiopathic intracranial hypertension but apart from that stroke and cataract that is also observed commonly severe pancreatitis and gallbladder disease are also observed on some time due to this obesity osteoarthritis phlebitis and gout is also observed so this all disease have shown correlation with the obesity now simply it is explained how these different disease are related to the obesity this obesity can lead to the diabetes as well as atherosclerosis and that is directly related with the stroke heart attack and hypertension sometime this obesity can lead to the some cancer as well as gallbladder and pancreatic disease are also observed further treatment of this obesity the main stray mainstream that is lifestyle modification so decrease energy or calorie intake and increase expenditure of the calorie so reduce intake of calorie as well as frequent small meals with lots of vegetable will make the food more palatable and give a feeling of satiety simple particular carbohydrate in that we have seen that dietary fiber that is giving a feeling of satiety as well as very helpful to feeling of fullness and decrease intake of the calorie as well as control exercise is needed to maintain or to prevent obesity in patient with high grades of obesity drugs may be given to decrease appetite like endocannab 
cannabinoids receptor antagonists will decrease the intake of food but clinical is not applicable in clinical practice it is not given as well as sometimes there is a some surgery is done in extreme cases of the obesity and that is the main line of treatment for the obesity so simply you have to understand about your obesity or your bmi and you are the creator of yourself thank you